Hi guys, welcome back to another part of Android tutorial. Today we are going to learn about how to save data into files in an Android application. So here I already create a project named a file demo. Now I am going to add some field into that activity. Also I add uh, two buttons here for saving and loading the data from file. Okay, I just add two buttons here. Now go to the XML file and I just change ID for the edit text as uh, MSG. Also make an hint on the uh, edit text using Android hint is equal to enter enter a message now there are two buttons first button is button 1 I change the ID of that button into save also change the text of that button into save data also here is the second button I change the ID of the second button into load here is the label on that button or text on that button I change it into load data ok I save it uh, now take the graphical all altered okay there are two buttons save data and load data also there is an edit text present on the layout now we have to code it so go to the src folder open the main activity.java file so first we have to create objects for that button button save save and load also there is an edit text is present I give it as message ok here is you need to import button now we have to connect the ID to this button object using the find the view by id method so here is save is equal to find the view by id r dot id dot id of the save button is save uh, and second one is load load button load is equal to find the view by id r dot id dot that button name is load so again go to the xml file i give it as uh, load button as load l o small l o a d i change it as capital l so here it is uh, load Uh, now there is the edit text message message is equal to using the method find view by id r dot id dot that message is msg ok now we have to cast it into appropriate class name here the class name is button and here it is button and here it is edit text ok now I just create a string here string Uh, message I just create a string here uh, now we have to create an action listener is for the two buttons save and load so whenever the uh, user click the button 
so whenever the user enters some values here and enter some string values here and click the save button then the value is saved into the into a file also whenever uh, after saving the file whenever the user click the load data button the value that saved into the uh, file is display bike or retrieve bike so first we have to create an action listener for the save button so here it is save dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener there is a semicolon is missing here are there are two packages you need to add two packages here I just add it okay first I have to get value from the edit text so I use the available message is equal to that edit text uh, object is message so I use that message dot get text is convert into string okay I just get value from the edit text and uh, convert that into uh, string variable string value uh, now in order to uh, write into file first of all you need to open a file uh, so in order to open a file you we have to use an open a file and uh, write some data into the file we have to use a file output stream object so here I just using a file output stream I give it as fou is equal to uh, there is a method called uh, open file output you need to specify a name for the text document I give it as text.txt and here you need to specify a mod there are different types of mods are present mod append means you need to add data into an existing file that means the uh, the entire data is append to that file and here is the uh, mod private mod private means uh, sorry uh, mod word readable that means uh, that data is available for uh, reading in other application and here is the writable uh, mod word writable that means uh, we assign permission to other application to write data into this file so uh, here I just using the uh, mod readable uh, option I think it is deprecated now Uh, here you need to insert this code segment into a try catch block so here I just using a try catch yeah that method is deprecated now okay uh, we just opened the file uh, output stream so in order to uh, write into the file we have to get an uh, byte reader that means we enter the data in the form of character so that character is converted into bytes so uh, here we need to get an object of output stream writer class so uh, output stream writer I give it as OST output stream OSW is equal to new output stream writer I pass the object of file input stream sorry file output stream okay here we got an object of file output stream and also uh, output stream writer now we have to write the data on this string that means the message string into the file so OSW dot we use a method called write uh, write here the string is message okay we just write the data into the file here also you need to surround it with the try catch block so after doing this for ensuring the data is uh, completely written into the file you need to use another method called ISW dot flash 
okay after this you need to close the uh, output stream writer object so in order to ensure in order to indicate uh, in order to I use a toss to display a message for the user to confirm the saving of data toss dot make test first upon the base context I display a message data saved toss dot make the duration duration is long and make the task visible okay that's done that's it uh, so we complete the coding for saving data into the file so whenever the user click the save data button uh, this on click listener is this on click method is executed and here we just got the value of that edit text into the this variable called a message and first of all you need to get an object of file output stream so here I got an object of file output stream with a, a file name text.txt I open it in mod word readable also in order to write the data into the file we need an object of under class called the output stream writer object so here I just creating getting an object of output stream writer object using the file output stream object and uh, here I write the data into the file using the method called the write also I flush the output stream writer now I close the output stream also make a uh, also here I just display a message on the screen to uh, for the user to indicate that the data is successfully saved into the file okay guys uh, the remaining portion of this topic is explained in the next part of this tutorial thank you for watching uh, please subscribe my channel for getting more video updates. Uh, see you in the next part of this tutorial.